but again, you do want your skills early too. Maybe I can't even make this jump. That seems quite plausible. Yeah, no, okay, never mind, you can't even do that. I'll come back from the other side, but now there is a tree here. Let's see, let me just grab some of these arrowheads and then grab some of these floating cards or not or we don't This seems like it should be close enough Uh, maybe we don't do this Are you kidding me? This is so close. Oh, never mind. We can't get that. You can jump a lot higher once you have levitation. Now look, there's um, the old man again. Let's so take this. I want to go back and get the egg. Pretty sure we can get the egg. There's a mine underneath there. Ah, uh, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, so if we come over to this side... Can I really not get up here? Or am I going the wrong way? Ah, uh, no, you don't get up from this side. Ah, uh, what is... Oh crap, oh wait, is the, the, the mine? Do you go through the mine? Hold on. We go through here. Oh crap, it's a bear. I don't remember if we can deal with the bear. Oh, well. How? So I'm just gonna run behind the bear. I think later on, when we get more powers, we should be able to defeat the bears, but now I'm just gonna do that. Run behind the bear, get the egg, and we still can't get that particular card. Can we? No. Alright, well we've got, we've got the egg. Okay, we've got a few more cards. I guess that's good enough for now. We're doing a lot of collection go right now. Although there are a lot of things we also can't get right now. Alright, here we are. Oh, bees. There's a bear there too. We want the... Okay, we can't get the, get the bees yet. There's a bear trying to kill us. Ah, uh, no, stop that. Ow. So that's what the bear does. It's, it has psychic powers. It will hold you in place. And then it will punch you. Not very nice. Alright, we're gonna get away from the bear. Come check out what's going on here. Oh, can I get some health back? Oh good. Let me just break things. Vandalize the place. Alright, good. I think there's no secrets back here, no? Alright, let's go let's go chat with the whatever his name is right now. Eager to learn, I wonder, or just eager to play? Sir, I am here to learn, sir. You're here to train hard? Mm, yes, sir. Develop a skill? Yes, sir. To become part of a noble team? Uh, yes. Yes. To become? Yes. A janitor? No. What? 
I'm here to be a psychonaut. Nah, nah, <laughs> Uh, the brainy jub jub goes on upstairs. And down here it's pushing brooms, not bending spoons. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, Mr. Crawler, do you know where Sasha Nine's lab is? What? Huh? It's a secret underground lab? I don't have a secret underground lab. That's hobgoblin. Now beat it. Get! And stop standing at my mouth. Yes. Secret underground lab. All right, so I think we've pretty much picked up everything we can from here. Uh, this way goes back to the entrance. Actually, no, we're not quite done. Never mind. There's still an extra little area here. Almost done. Let's see, there's a campfire. Is there loot here? Oh, this is where we started the opening cutscene, isn't it? Alright, so there's the main campground, never mind. And uh, we can't go through here. Okay, so let's go find Agent Crawler, which the game never really tells you where he is. But, um... Wait a minute, have we been here? Ah, uh, yes, yes we have, okay. I guess they just expect you to find this because this these tree stumps with the uh, the red light, red lantern on it. Hey, welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Krella, or somewhere else? So you can so you can fast travel around the game, and you can go to the sanctuary as well. Let's go to Ford's, I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. It's a secret base. And <laughs> you can just walk into it. Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. Oh, we get fire. So we get a fire bag. Cool. I can't wait to burn some... Hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. But why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories? I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long, he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? All right, so go Q. You can do it. Great, great. Now burn the rest. Focus. So you. You're getting warmer. Keep going. Press Q. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Uh, okay. You can do it. Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important, or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. 
And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> right. Um, you can ask him questions. Should we? Might as well. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Yes. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. Yes. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here, I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have, like, a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. So you can use bacon to summon the old Sidemaster to help you out when you need it. Ah, uh, he gives you clues if you're stuck. Yep. We're not gonna be stuck because we know what we're doing. Yep. Observation room. Something going on right now. I think there's a few cards floating around in here as well. And we have 72 cards. If we can find uh, or buy enough cores, we can come back and turn those into markers. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there. Yep, basically. Have fun. Yes, nine cards. 
so I can make 8 cores, which gets me to rank um, 19, which is really not enough to uh, get the next thing, so we won't do that. Once we get enough, we'll do that. Uh, in the meantime, I believe we're just gonna walk out of here. And go back outside. So we want to find the... we to buy the... Uh, actually, okay, there's a card thing up there, hold on. We're gonna buy the... Dowsing Rod. Alright, here we go. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? We're going to the main lodge. Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you? All right, here we are. 193 arrowheads. I'm gonna need like what 900 for the cobweb duster. Oh, and we have the uh, the fire now. Hey, why are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's go. So you can set things on fire. Uh, we're not going to be insensitive <laughs> about it. I don't remember if there's like maybe there's achievements. Hold on, let me. Hey, where's my hamburger? I, I told you. Just kidding. I just want to buy stuff. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with this spatula. Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. you can 800. Up. Now, with that, ah, no. Now, that dowsing rod will help you find arrowhead sold to the big headed kid with the gloves. Right, so we're gonna need that. What else can I do you for? Now, you take that side. 10 cord arrowheads and put per core, alright. That's it for and now. You'll have yourself. Alright. Go get more airheads and come on back. Alright, before we do anything, I believe we can burn some stuff here for a... Here we go. Yes! Fire! Which I thought there was a an item back here. I I guess there isn't. I thought there was an item back here. Why did I think there's an item back here? All right, we'll just burn that for no reason then. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to get our dowsing rod. And when you spam. Actually, the, the pitch tells you how close you are. And the color too, and then you spam, and that gives you like 50 arrowheads at a time. But I think there's a limited number of them. So we're gonna... Oh, is that 10? Or is that 10 arrowheads? Or is that 50 arrowheads? Maybe it's only 10 arrowheads. Somewhere around here. Nope. Here. Alright, so this is gonna... It's gonna take us a long time. Before we get up to... Or is it 800? I might do this off camera. As you might imagine, this is gonna take a long time for us to collect 800 Citanium in order to, in order to get the. Uh, I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. In order to get the cobweb duster, although he does tell you. Well, there's nothing nearby. 